Hi guys, uh, in this video I will show you another approach uh, to create a GitHub uh, repository on the GitHub server. So I will do it from uh, Visual Studio itself after creating the Visual Studio project. So uh, let's see that now. So what I will do is I will get to Visual Studio. I will click on create a new project here like the way we did last time. And I will select C -sharp .net Core Web Application. Anju demo project two and click on create. I'll create a web application here again. So uh, the project is created created now, um, but it is still a simple project, but not a Git repository yet. So what I will do first is I'll click on Git here, and I will click create Git repository. So now it is a Git repository. You can see there are files, Git attributes, Git ignore and all. And then what I will do is, uh, I'll just add a print line, console.write line, and I'll say hello approach to, right? And now what I will do is I'll go to Git changes, and I'll just say hello approach to, right and i will just commit it and then i'll just click on sync right and then it says that um you can push to remote repository but there is no remote repository configured so you can actually add a git repo here too if there is an existing git repository um, but in our case currently we don't have any repositories um for this particular thing so basically i'm planning to create manju demo project 2 repository on my github and we don't have that so these are all my other personal um you know tutorials um which i have made um but in this case i will create a new repository now called manjo demo project 2. so in team explorer instead of pushing to remote repository i will do this publish to github and so this will create this demo project so i will just name it demo to Manju demo project approach to sorry approach to and description is optional and I will publish it so uh, after publishing you will see that um, it says this link so what I will do is again I will go back to my github and the repository should be created I will just refresh it and you can see now that this uh, repository is created and all these changes are in here so even the one which I change I made is also being pushed to the repository. So that is a, this is the second approach wherein you can create the repository, uh, the central repository on GitHub server too, from Visual Studio itself, instead of you actually creating repository here manually like the way we did earlier. In this, in this video, we are doing it from the Visual Studio itself. So hope uh, you got both the ways of uh, creating repositories now um, so that's it for this video